being licensed as a captive manager is different than being, you know, consulting on captives. Um, in, in fact, you know, way back when historically captive management was largely, it was largely a bookkeeping function and, and regular regulatory reporting, um, you know, function. And then there were the captive consultants and, you know, the attorneys, the actuaries, and everybody would sit around the table and, you know, the, you know, the client would get, you know, 10 different bills from all the vendors. Um, and, you know, that is, was about as miserable as it sounds. So what evolved over time is the captive manager sort of became, became the quarterback or the centralization of both, you know, the accounting the you know, regulatory function, but also the, you know, the lead on the, on the consulting, um, you know, in terms of strategy and all the stuff that Wes was talking about earlier um, in terms of policies and which risks to ensure, um, you know, if you were going to stay in the captive manager space, you had to be able to be able to do those things, um, you know, either specialized or, or you know, broad, but, um, you know, it's, it's something that's evolved over time. Um, you know, that being said, though, the, the licensure as a manager, that's that's the regulatory interface for the reporting and the bookkeeping. Um, but it would not preclude somebody from charging you know, consulting fees or you know, giving advice on captives if, if somebody wanted to engage them. 